that's what we've been experiencing on a regular basis praise the Lord hallelujah so let us just for a moment begin to pray let's lift up the fathers the number one father we should lift up is our father Jesus Christ hallelujah somebody say happy Father's Day to Jesus somebody say happy Father's Day to your daddy to your God who is your father in heaven oh come on somebody just take a few more moments anybody love your father I'm not talking about your earthly father. I'm talking about your heavenly father. Does anybody love their father today? I love him so much. I love him so much. Praise Jesus. We're going to celebrate today. We don't need much reason to celebrate in this church. We're always looking for an excuse to celebrate something. We like to party in this place. I love to, listen, I used to be a party animal in the world and I spend all this time and money on drugs and alcohol and chasing skirts and all that foolishness. That was my party before and it always left me down in the dumps. But I got a new party with my daddy, Jesus Christ. And my party now leaves me full of joy and excitement, anticipation. Oh, I just love life today. Cause see, my past, has reminded me of the faith that I can have today. And my present is where I live. Someone say, I am life. life. I'm going to be preaching about that down the line. I am life. So we have the past to remind us of where we are today. Today we live in anticipation for tomorrow. I live in excitement. What is God going to do tomorrow? What's God going to do next week? What's God going to do in my life next month, next year? What does God have in store for me? When you live in right, that's an exciting idea. And most importantly, there's something we anticipate. I've dreamt about it. I'm excited about it. Just talking about it gets me a little funny. I cannot wait uh, till I hear that trumpet uh, when I see the Lord coming uh, for his church. Uh, when it's time to go home uh, to be with Jesus. Uh, oh, that is a day of every day that day makes me so excited to be with my king and my savior yeah. I don't know about you but I feel the Holy Ghost right now <laughs> we're not looking for the Holy Ghost I feel the Holy Ghost now for you that were here on Wednesday there was a bunch of people no you thought I forgot see y'all raised your hand and said I'm going to pray this week I'm going to fast between Wednesday and today so that I can come in this place and be bubbling all over the place uh, having the Holy Ghost saturate everybody yes Jesus I can tell some of y'all did your homework I can see it uh, I can see it praise the Lord who's going to join in some praise we're going to do some praise and worship but I want to know who's going to join in some praise right about now oh I don't hear you I don't hear where are my shouters at where are, you, where are my shouters Woo, where are my shouters at <laughs> can I have the worship team come we gonna celebrate all day and then when we're done celebrating here we're gonna go to go, I was gonna say Golden Corral we're gonna go to King Dragon for anybody that can afford to go if any of you wives want to treat your husbands that's where I'm being treated ha <laughs> ha praise the Lord I get to choose today. So after church, we'll be going to Golden Corral. Amen. Just let me know after church who's going so that we King can. Dragon. I'm sorry, King Dragon. Dragon. My goodness, I got GC on the brain. <laughs> We're going to King Dragon to continue our fellowship. But I'm looking forward to the move of God right now. I'm not even worried about food. I don't care about food. I care about the Holy Ghost right now. In Jesus' name.
better show some joy. You better have, you got the Holy Ghost. You better have some joy. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout if you're excited about Jesus. If you're excited about Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Father. Heavenly Father. This is a house of worship. This is a house where we're going to praise. Somebody get serious about your joy with Jesus right now.
just take a moment to, to recognize that love that he has for you. All that he's willing to do for you because he's your father in heaven. All that he took on so that we might be redeemed. So that we might have life. That we might have victory. He did it all for us on Calvary. Hallelujah. Oh, just thank him for a moment in your worship. let the Holy Ghost have its way right now we can go a little deeper church there's further for us to go in our worship just close your eyes and find a place to worship with Jesus sit by his side right now he's not a far away God he's right here not way up in the heavens not just there because he's everywhere which means he's here right now in this room right next to you right in front of you right behind you he may even have his arm around you I don't know but he's here Jesus that's it that's it church oh the Holy Ghost is moving yes Yeah. 